Hey Capricorn, this is your soulmate twin flame reading. If you feel that you are on this journey, then this is for you to hear. So what I'm going to do is pull a card for your energies, their current energies, what blockages or what needs to be adjusted in the situation, and what's in your environment, and then the outcome. All right, my Capricorns. What is the current energy for Capricorns with their soulmate twin flames? So, Wheel of Fortune and the Empress. What is their Twin Flame Soulmate energy? Wow, very intense. Okay, what needs to be addressed in the situation? Or what's coming in for the future? What needs to be addressed? What's in the environment? What's in the environment? And what is the outcome? for the soulmate twin flame energies for Capricorns. Wow. All right, bottom of the deck, the sun. So you guys, Capricorns, stay patient. The energy coming in your environment, happiness, illumination, things being illuminated. So things are gonna be coming in. The sun is also the sign of Leo. Okay, but there's happiness, possibly a child coming into the picture, a pregnancy, but overall happiness, contentment. The sun is one of the best cards you can get. Capricorns, this is very intense, you guys. So you have the Wheel of Fortune and the Empress. So that's your current energy. So you guys are damn ready to start something here with the Wheel of Fortune and the Empress. The Wheel of Fortune is that movement for you guys. If things have like been really, really slow, you guys have felt like this has been a slow, arduous, long process, things are gonna be happening for you guys with the Wheel of Fortune, okay, and the Empress. That's like a rebirth process. New things coming in. The Empress knows how to take control. She takes charge. So you guys are in the process of like really taking charge here. Um, you guys are ready to take control of the situation, okay? So just be patient. Your soulmate twin flame energy or someone coming into the picture in the future, justice. So what I'm getting from this is there's a possibility that your soulmate twin flame may currently be married, possibly needs to go through a divorce type situation with a justice card because that deals with legal matters. There may be other situations that they're dealing with um, that need to be balanced out, okay? So there definitely needs to be a little bit of patience here, but things are going to be moving forward. And what I'm feeling with the Empress, definitely in the summer months ahead. So Capricorn, just be patient. Everything is divine timing with justice. Things are going to be balanced out. Justice is also the sign of Libra. The Empress is Taurus. So what needs to be addressed? Ace of Cups. So that deals with emotions, so there are emotions here that need to be addressed, whether it's communication about emotions, um, expressing emotions for some of you. This is a situation that needs to be talked about. So whoever here is having issues with expressing themselves, dealing with their emotions, whether it's you or them, um, don't let ego play a part in this. Okay, guys, if you feel the need to say something, then say it. 
in the environment three of cups this is why i'm feeling there's a possibility that this is a third party situation so partners may currently be married for some of you this could be complete happiness maybe some of you have met your soulmate twin flames and it's happiness celebration this could also be in your friendship group so somebody possibly that you're meeting through friends and the outcome capricorns look at this king of pentacles this is your card capricorn taurus virgo abundance okay total abundance security somebody who's really worked hard to get what they have clarify the wheel of fortune and the empress for capricorn's energy beautiful the fool a totally new beginning for you guys so capricorns look at this it doesn't get any better than this the Wheel of Fortune, things are moving forward. There's a rebirth, a new situation coming in with the Fool. Something completely new here. Totally new abundance, happiness. So be patient, you guys. I'm feeling really through the summer months that things are going to start changing. Clarify justice. <laughs> oh my God. All right. So the Empress. Look at this. The Empress twice Capricorns. Need I say more? Okay, there is definitely a possibility that somebody here is married and needs to leave a relationship. So this is what's going to have to happen before you guys can be together. For others of you, this person, your soulmate twin flame, is going through a rebirth process. So there definitely has to be patience that's needed. Clarify the Ace of Cups. Yeah, so like I said before... Emotional expression. Somebody here is bound in their emotions. They're stuck and there needs to be a release. A release of emotions. Um, release from the burden. So whoever here is not expressing themselves, this is just mental energy here. Clarify the Three of Cups for what's in the environment. Hermit. So this could be involving a Virgo, so possibly another earth sign. But again, definitely this could involve a third party situation that somebody's involved in, whether it's you or them. Somebody here may have to leave a situation, whether it's another relationship or a marriage, before there's movement forward. Possibly involving a Virgo. Clarify the Hermit and the Three of Cups for Capricorns. Ace of Pentacles. So, yeah, look at this. Total abundance. So, for some of you, this could be involving a Virgo. There's definitely going to be an offer coming in here, something to be happy about, something to celebrate, some kind of abundance. For others of you, there is a third party situation and somebody needs to leave this, okay? But with the Ace of Pentacles, there's definitely happiness coming in here. Definitely, possibly involving another earth sign for some of you. There's a lot of earth in here with the Empress twice, Taurus. Clarify the King of Pentacles as the outcome for Capricorns. Clarify the King of Pentacles. Five of Swords. Clarify the King of Pentacles and the Five of Swords for Capricorns. Knight of Wands. Three of Pentacles. Okay, so for some of you, if this is involving an earth sign, okay, there may be a situation where somebody has ego type issues here. Whether this is involving another earth sign, what you guys need to do is really communicate, work through your emotions, because with the Five of Swords and the Knight of Wands, what I'm getting is that there's somebody here that's in fear, in fear of expressing their emotions, of letting their ego down, of letting their walls down. So what you guys need to do is this Three of Pentacles type energy. If you want the success and this abundance in a relationship, you're going to have to work through some ego issues. With the Knight of Wands and the Five of Swords, definitely ego. The Knight of Wands is a fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. So this person that you're dealing with, 
there's major happiness here. There's that major possibility. With the Justice card here and the Rebirth, I think this is the Rebirth that someone's going to have to go through. It's dropping the ego, dropping that energy of coming in and out of your life. Someone who's afraid to drop their guard. It's all about working together, working through emotion. So for some of you, there's going to be a growing process together that you're going to have. But that's the beauty of relationships, especially the Twin Flame Soulmate type energies, is that you guys grow together. So you guys have a beautiful, beautiful start here. So for some of you, stay patient because with the Wheel of Fortune, this beautiful energy is coming through. Possibly a Taurus with the Empress here twice. Um, definitely water energy here. Virgo for more Earth signs. So just what I think this really may entail is that ego type energy. But you guys have a beautiful outcome here. So continue working through the situation and you guys are going to have success. All right, Capricorns, take care. I hope this resonates with you guys.